Good morning again from Yami Bay TV. Wishing you all well. Sending plenty of love your way as well. Um, yeah, I'm doing my hop, skip and jumps again. Gordon Bennett, my feet planting into the floor again. I'm doing, I will not say nothing yet. Two more weeks, I'll show you who is the greatest of all time. Fitness wise, never mind about the injuries. I've got this. Yeah, Dave Warren, see it? Right, you've been asking my DMs and it's a good question. And you've been asking me for some time. And it, the question of, and it, the fantasy is a bit different from reality um, on this subject and this video that I'm making now about control and restraint by the staff when they're using force on some of um, the legendary Cat A figures uh, when they're wrapping them up and physically overpowering men. Who lasts the longest in those tear-ups with the staff? Come might come as a shock to some of you this as well, but maybe not shocks. Um, for those that know, if you get what I mean. So, we'll start off. There was a geezer called John Shock, right? Not much of him, but a legendary figure for what he did in the category A's. Year after year, month after month, um, everywhere he went, he was a problem for prison staff. Now, his method of doing his stuff, right? So, you could wrap him up, get him into things, real angry geezer. But he used to bite their ears off and their noses and bite them on their stomachs and everything. So bad it got, a difficult bang up um, for prison staff. It's, it's like being a suicide bomb, it's very difficult to defend against when he says, well, I'm not banging up, what are you gonna do? So you know you press the bell, he's gonna have to get wrapped up. But if you're gonna go in there, uh, two, three, four of you, with that kind of history, that kind of history, right? The biting, who's gonna get it? Cause you know, biting can cause so many infections and draw blood and he will rip it off and that kind of stuff. He even used to tease staff, right? And, uh, yeah, if you come near me, I'll bite you, I'll tear it off. He used to wind them up on the landings, right? A, low, a high threshold to pain. Definitely John Shock and a difficult way to deal with in the way that he does it without being muscly and a, a, a super hip, uh, a big boxer of some kind, you know, with his hands and the wrestling and that kind of stuff. His solution was, yeah, I'll bite you. So that's number one of a different kind, um, getting wrapped up um, to be put behind their door under control and restraint. The second one, the second one, all right, we, talk, we know about Charlie Bronson, right? Charlie Bronson, I witnessed a couple of times. I'm, and all this time, I was down the block at the same time sometimes as all these figures, right? And witnessed these battles with staff. So we don't really have to go into Charlie Bronson. We know that Charlie's legendary for known for having fights with prison staff um, whilst he's been solitary all his natural life. The public and the newspapers, the TVs, they put him at top of the tree um, for giving prison officers a hard time right uncle yami steps on this right at the end of um this video right so that's two right now the third one a geezer called um victor anucha really skinny right really skinny but really fast like um this time i was down the seg with all these figures right prison staff played some mad games you know let's see who, who lasts the longest and time it out to see how long it takes different men for them to wrap up facts well victor nucha was so fast right that he was a real real problem man he was just everything was lightning quick they used to struggle to put him by the door behind the door so i used to watch it and i used to think through the three i used to think he's fucking lasting longer than some people and he's not a household name do you see what i mean you're talking about nine stone wet ten stone wet but kind of long bloody bloody blah I put him somewhere up there as well, right? Some of you remember him too. Real difficult case, you know what I mean? Sets off like a steam train that you can't, it's little, the flurry is a bit too much to manage on a one on one. Speed matters a lot. The fourth one, Daniel Cummins. The attitude of leave me alone and I'll leave you alone. So they used to test him out sometimes down the block, right? DC from East, right? DC is about Victor Anucha's size, kind of tallish, but very deceptive with his power. He's got a bit more muscle on than Victor Anusha, right? But he's um, deceivingly his weight. It would still be about 12, 13, but he doesn't look it, if you get what I mean, because it's his build. 
doesn't drink or smoke, right? Staff used to try it on him sometimes, right? And I've been in a couple of segs with him over those years. And he used to come blaze and he's got a big, massive bang. You wouldn't think he holds that kind of power. I remember a time when they took all they couldn't get him through the door. Everybody was getting in each other's way. He had the speed, the strength, the power and the mentality of never say die and never to be beaten. Feeling like he's being violated, which he was, but he just wasn't having it. A serious, serious man, um, Daniel Cummings. And you lot was asking me a few days ago, you're saying... And then message him, yeah, but yeah, I mean, them North Man and the South, they, but you know, one on one with DC. They, no, it's not as simple as that. You're looking at the build. You've seen, you haven't seen him fight properly. I've seen him fight properly. And who you lot are rating in a one on one? They were scared to go on a one on one with him. Come on, talk the truth, man. He's very awkward and very deceptive. As we know, with him taking on all kinds during being on his own in that time man say no more i'm not i prefer other sides to that side i'm not on no side now but i will always talk the truth as i knew it right i've got other stories with me and him as well um kind of respected me you know um we had that that little thing going in dc um but listen that's four now you asked me the question about victor castigator now I answer this categorically today about when he does his madness on when he used to do his madness on the wing. Rest in peace, Victor. Um, it's always on him, mate. The violence. They had, it seemed, a gentleman's agreement. Him and the staff, and I've got to say it, was, Victor, you leave us alone and we'll leave you alone. Because Victor was a man who could commit violence or walk down the block. They wouldn't put their hand on him. That Victor Neutral, they was on the yard one time, right? And he and he's lightning. I just explained it to you. He threw about a hundred punches at little Victor, and Victor was just doing that. He didn't land one of them. The screws rushed um, Anucha. Didn't touch Victor. It was so funny. If you ever want to see the art of staying calm and everything, and you know I've, I've seen a lot of men, but what I saw that day, I was thinking, "Eh, hell. Every when Anucha swings at everybody else, he hits. But for some reason, the respect um, for Victor Castigada was deep with them, you know. Victor, you all right? It was more like a care bear. It was more of a care bear thing. Yeah, I mean, hold still with a phone, you nutter. Know, so obviously, it's training, obviously. Now, yeah, it was more like a care bear thing with Victor. Or unless they knew where they stand, because you know uh, when he says, listen, you know what I mean? He means it. So he wasn't renowned for assaulting staff, Victor Castigada. So I thought I'd answer that question as well. So all that, all that said and done, for those five that I've just mentioned there, right, before I go, um, let me go and do what I'm doing and I've got another topic to do um, afterwards. Um, out of all them five I've just mentioned there, what did they say down the block when they're wrapping them up, the prison staff? Who lasted the longest? Who lasted some um, one minute and a half? Um, two and a half minutes, three minutes, that the kind of that kind of range there, and one four and a half. The one that won the longest time out of all of them, out of the prison officer's own mouth, right, witnessed by me, was Daniel Cummings. Absolute fact. Then it was Victor Anucha. Charlie Bronson was about fourth. And and you know what? Yeah, Charlie, yeah, 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 yeah. He could beat them all up. Yeah, we're not saying that. We're saying about if you gets wrapped up quicker. Charlie Brock, they were saying at their own mouths in one cat a block that I was in, they were saying, yeah, well, I prefer to go in on Charlie. At least it's a quicker wrap up than those that I just spoke about just there. Am I telling the truth, people that have been there? Sending loads of love up here, I'm sure.